Danny, I'd like to start with you. In, in your introductory comments, you discussed the fact that some of the uh, drag on the economy that is a, a result of uh, federal policies is going to be softening. We can expect some higher growth in the next uh, few quarters, as I understood your testimony. Uh, the question I have, though, is how do we determine that? And what I'm getting at is uh, isn't the debt crisis that we face, isn't the level of debt that we are carrying a constant drag on the economy that needs to be resolved? Yes, I agree. Uh, you know, I do think uh, you've made significant progress. You've stabilized the fiscal situation. The deficit to GDP is shrinking. The debt to GDP ratio is stable. And under reasonable economic assumptions, and they're reasonable because they're my assumptions, you know, they're, and they're close to CBO, we're going to have a stable fiscal situation for the next several of years. Good. Great. It restores confidence. And I think it allows the private economy to kick in the gear. But we still have a looming debt crisis. Exactly. And I don't think we should feel at all comfortable with a debt-to-GDP ratio of 73, 74 percent. It's double what it was before the recession. 35, 40 percent is perfectly manageable or okay. 75 percent, I think, is we have no room for error if something goes wrong. And as importantly, as you move into the next decade, again, under reasonable assumptions, the deficits are going to start to rise. The debt load is going to start to rise. So your work is not done. You have more work to do.